Hey, I'm Hello Rodney. Thanks for clicking on my video. When I have on a shirt, you know I mean business. Or is this my, you know, I don't mean business shirt. I can't remember. Don't you just hate when somebody eats on, on their videos? You're not the boss of me. Oh, man. I from a walk a while ago. Wow. It's too freaking hot when I went out. It's too hot. Put in five miles so far today. See what it's like out here. Hey, hey, Sea Biscuit. Roll over, Sea Biscuit. Roll over. You know, horses, at one time, they were a noble animal. They were a, they had a, Well, they had a, a dignity about them. They were a dignified animal. But not anymore. Used to get on them and ride them to ride the range and all that, you know, and hook them up to a wagon and take your family to, to town. Used to use them to... Uh, plow fields and make deliveries and all kinds of stuff. But not anymore. What they are now. You people have turned the dignity of a horse into Nothing. They're like a, just a big dog now. They're like pets. Pets with hooves that will totally wipe out your land. Completely wipe it out. Don't you hate it when somebody's chewing a mouthful of raisins on videos? Hate that, don't you? See that? Totally devastated. Totally devastated to land over there. Harder than fucking hell out here. There's my path. At least I'm trying. But I was thinking about something. Finally, there's been a little teeny tiny crack in the Disneyland treatment of animals. See? Disney figured out how to make people think that little mice are underground, you know, with bowling alleys and having hoe downs and shooting pool and they probably even have like a jail down there for some mouse that gets well maybe not. There's probably mice that never never have any arguments. So there's no jails. No. No, that would that would go against the whole concept of the of the wonderfulness of mice. Of course, they'll give you a plague, but we don't want to talk about that. So, they figured out how to do the same thing with horses. So there goes, there goes Flicka, you know. Down there's like, there's Timmy drowning in the, in the, in the creek, right? Help, help! Here comes Flicka, dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -da, you know. Oh, rescues Timmy. They, they don't show him getting rescued, but how are they going to rescue him? I guess they picked him up by his head or something. I don't know. So now everybody thinks that horses, instead of being dignified animals, turn them into 
cartoon characters. Yeah. I'm going to have to do a video. I'm going to have to go out and find that horse place. They've got acres and acres and acres. I think you got like 60, 80 horses. And this big pan somewhere. So you about doing a video going over there with a sign, you know, big sign. Cafe Seabiscuit, you know. They have the menu, you know. Horse flanks, you know, whatever they're called, you know. 29 bucks. Give 10% of it to the Save a Horse Foundation. All these fucking people. They're down the road. I should take a video of them. Down the road. These people have four horses. They're just dying in there, man. These horses, they look like skin and bones. And I was thinking, they're probably not dying. They're probably like horse runway models. They're not real horses. They're not. They're not horses. And I mean, that's their new. That's their new thing. They're pets, and probably somebody breeding them like that, you know, so they can start selling like some sort of like horse blanket thing, you know, so they look really cool. And they just have these starving horses clippity clopping, you know, down the runway, you know. So uh, I was, yeah, I better not do that because I was, I was gonna rat them out, and I thought, nah. Might be a horse modeling agency. You know, they're going to only get the skinny horses, you know. Don't you hate when somebody eats raisins on camera? And then uh, powers it down with a big gulp of distilled white vinegar. Better do that off camera. Don't look at this. <laughs> ah, that's good eating and drinking, my dear boy. I was thinking, I'm going to do an art contest. We'll do an art contest. What I want, oh, New Mexico, the bravest state in the Union. Long live the bravest state of the Union, New Mexico. That's the state song. Oh. And he repeated it about ten times. They have the first USDA approved horse butchering place. Horse slaughterhouse. All the horse people. Hey, hey, you guys of course, if you don't slaughter them here, they put them on trains and slaughter them in Canada or Mexico, I think. Oh. It's all right. You like that, don't you? So I want to do an art contest. Now, I'm trying to figure out how to make a living, and I'm working on that. Got some ideas, and I think they're going to work, like all the ideas I think are going to work, until either they don't work or until five minutes later I think, oh, that's not a very good idea, I'll do something else. But since there is a place in the state of New Mexico where you can butcher horses, We're going to start up either a horse restaurant chain. Now, nobody says anything about the buffalo, right? The freaking buffalo almost got completely wiped out. Then they brought the buffalo back, but they didn't decide the buffalo were going to be pets. You can go get bar you can go get buffalo burgers. You can get you can get horse burgers in Iceland. They eat horse all over. Don't want to eat a horse here because that's that's Flicka or something. But now you can butcher horses. 
So I'm thinking either a horse restaurant chain, call it uh, Hug a Horse Steak. Huh? So I was thinking, nah, it'd be too much hassle to have a restaurant chain. Although you can have it with a restaurant chain, when you went through the drive through right, it would be like a corral, right? Have some corral stuff, you know, and have a brand, you know. Hug a horse. Steak. You know, like a brand. It could be on all the bags and everything. I was like, nah, it's too much of a hassle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a... Sea biscuit, horse jerky enterprise, right? I'm going to turn all the horses into, into horse jerky. And we'll, you know, we'll find scientists and everything. You know, say, oh, horses are so much better than beef and all that, you know. Which they probably are. But if you say something like that, then you get all the cattle people upset. The cattle people get upset because you got to ride those cows, ride a horse to rustle the cows or do the cow thing. Stupid. They don't even do that. Ranchers aren't like they used to be. You know, on a horse and all that bullshit, forget it. They got doolies. They got, the hell, they got a dooley. They got a 450, 450 Dodge dooley. So they can haul a big... Horse trailer. Twelve horses. Put twelve horses on some bitch. What do you do with horses? I mean, what them seriously? I'll tell you what I want to do them. I want to turn them into horse jerky. Now, see how much I've been enjoying this? This is not raisins. This is uh call it uh horse nuggets. Let me show them to you. I'm saying where you can just, uh, you just get a bag. Not this big of a bag. I mean, come on. Small bag. It's a little tiny piece of uh, horse. It's, uh, it's just like uh, just like uh, jerky. But it's a little pellet. This way you don't be gnawing on it. See, because when you're gnawing on something, you go... Like that, no, I'm not some bitch. You got to use your hand. This way. Look at all that horse. Hmm. Teriyaki.